It's 11.59 at Radio Free America, and this is Uncle Sam with music and the truth until dawn. Right now, I've got a few words for some of our brothers and sisters in the occupied zone. The chair is against the wall. The chair is against the wall. John has a long mustache. John has a long mustache. It's 12 o'clock, Americans, another day closer to victory. Hey, how we doing, folks? Mike here from Observation Post Charlie. Going to do a little review here of this little Vada camp stove. I think it'd be good for build craft or camping or whatever you like, you know, fold up, put in your pack, find sticks on the ground, you know, endless supply of, of fuel for you. So let's stand by to do this, okay? Now the sticks I've been using, I want this as real as possible. Uh, it's the same sticks it has been sitting out here all winter at the edge of my garden I got rid of last year around the yard and stuff so I wanted it to be as realistic as possible okay and I'm using one of my little fire starter these are cotton rounds with uh, Vaseline in them you guys see me made these up they work pretty good and I just keep them in a little ziploc so they don't dry out Okay, squeeze all the air out of them. And there's my little tinder box. You guys see me made that. I keep a little fire steel down there just as a backup. Now this little stove comes from, uh, it's called Vada. I'll show you the bag it comes in. It's a nice little bag, carrying bag, Vada. I fired it up yesterday. I'm gonna redo the video. It just wasn't a very good video. Um, it was like 15 bucks, I think it was wasn't much Amazon of course but it is stainless steel and this seems to be made pretty well and I'm gonna use something else I've got got this on Amazon too uh, it's a little rechargeable when I'm well electric LC fun Explorer it's one of them little electronic lighters it's rechargeable and I got solar panels I carry in my pack for long long term now this could be for bushcraft field craft or as a partisan or Minuteman you know if you're out doing whatever for a long period just it's just something so this is you can use this little stove to purify your water cook on make a meal with whatever you know like I said bushcraft Fieldcraft is what we called in the army. Uh, yeah, fieldcraft. And I got a little my old uh, uh, Alice Y harness set up with some Molly patches. I did a video on that where I took Molly and Alice and they met each other. Worked out pretty good. And I use that kind of just for hiking and fieldcraft. Uh, you don't have to carry your firearms all the time to practice things, folks. You can. Just go out and do little field crap stuff, you know. Practice that. That's going to be more important, I think. But that's just my opinion. But let's give this a whirl and get this started and see how it works. Yeah. Hot dog, it went pretty quick. <laughs> let's see how this goes. Now these sticks, like I said, you know, folks, I wanted to keep this as realistic as possible. They've been out here all winter. You know, you got to keep it real as possible. I mean, that's the way I like, I, I do the honor system, you know. If your honor ain't worth a crap, then we ain't got no use for you. If I make mistakes, I make mistakes, and I make mistakes every day. I'm older, but the thing about it, a good, honest person, they'll admit when they make mistakes, and that's why I took the other video down. I just thought it was crap, even for me. <laughs> even for me, I thought it was crap. Okay, this is my old army canteen cup. This is what I'd be carrying. I got it on my FLC fighting gear and my. Uh, I've got one also on my old wire harness. Um, 
This is exactly what two cups looks like in one of these. I measured it in the house on the cup. I've done it many times, but I just wanted it, you know, one more time to make sure the old man wasn't, you know, forgetting something. So we'll give this a whirl, okay? This is two cups. This is what it looks like inside one of these. I hope you guys can see that, how, or how well you can see it. Okay. All right. Once the fire gets started, going good we'll start the timer how's that sound Are you guys okay with that i hope so because that's how we're going to roll it and again guys i'm just an old guy you know i enjoy the outdoors i love our country i'm an old army vet Nothing special, you know what I mean? Just good old American. That's about it. Okay, once this uh, gets rolling here in a second or two, we'll bring you back. That way you ain't got to sit through waiting on the fire to catch up. <laughs> Please apologize for my stuffy sound here, guys. I'm like a lot of you, I'm dealing with allergies. Part of getting old, but it's okay. Wouldn't you still do this? As you see, it, and the reason I stopped it, I didn't know how long it was going to take, just being honest. But it only took about 30 seconds in reality. Once it caught, it decided to take off. Like I said, this stuff has been out all winter, so it's it's the same kind of stuff you'd find like in the woods. So, you know, it's not like some of these folks I've seen. And you can tell the wood was like what they used for their wood stoves or whatever it was dried and pampered and stuff you know you're not gonna find pampered and perfectly everything in the woods so why would you do a video like that I mean I I mean I'd probably get it but it's okay whatever each their own the old man's gonna do it this way and we're gonna get my watch real quick My generic watch says it's 11.54. We're gonna time this. I hear some people say you gotta do this thing. Um, somebody was asking me. This is one of the things I carry. I do have a fold-up saw, it's in my pack. It's an old farmer's hatchet is what we used to call them. It's got a hammer on one side, good for putting Stakes in the ground or whatever, and bushcraft stuff, and then you chop on the other end. Got a little dirt on it. Where I broke a couple of them sticks up. Need to sharpen this. Uh, and then somebody was asking me too about my long stick blade or fixed blade knives, and I have a charade I've had about four years. My oldest son got that for me for Christmas. I like it. I know it's kind of fancy, but that's the one I use on my belt. I pretty much carry that. That's also part of my EDC when I go out. Also had my uh, U.S. Army version. We call them pocket knives. It's like the uh, the Swiss Army knives. They've been doing that since about World War One. They were bone handle at one time. Then they come into metal sides, like the one I had and said U.S. And I think you can still buy the remake version on Amazon they're pretty good then I got this Glock build knife still sharp as a rock I mean it's I'm sorry it's really sharp and it's solid as a rock is what I was trying to say it's a Glock M81 field knife it's not a bayonet somebody argued once about it years ago about it being a bayonet it's not a bayonet can't attach that to nothing it's a field knife okay this still razor sharp I love this thing. I, I, if I'm doing tactical stuff and not just build craft, this is what I take. Okay. And again, that goes on my person. Alright, let's walk over here. I'm starting to get a few little bubbles. Put a couple of more sticks in it.
Starting to bubble in there pretty good. Twig here. Break that up. Wasn't paying attention. You got that's one thing about these, you gotta keep these bad. But I was using really small sticks. Get a little adjustment. Put some more small stuff in there. And give it a little air, and she took right off. That's my fault, though. I let it die out. I only put a few little sticks in there. And, but it is what it is. It's a, it's a little stick stove. Fold up. It is made out of stainless steel. It's not real heavy. I did a burn it last night. Like I said, I did a video. I didn't like the video. Um, but I think it worked perfect for build crap, bush crap, camping, hiking, so forth. Once you get little stuff in there, like anything else in campfire, you just put bigger stuff, you just got to cut them down. That's where I think uh, my. Uh, if you had bigger sticks sticking there, come down short with like your folding saw. But I just didn't bring my little folding saw out or else I could put bigger stuff in it. Allergies. Terrible. See, it's uh, starting. Little tiny bubbles in there. Seems like once it gets going, there's not a lot of smoke to it, not a ton anyway. There we go. That's good right there to make coffee or your soups or whatever it's boiling. So, according to the old watch, it's four minutes. Well, three, we'll just call it four minutes. It's close enough. Not bad. And again, I had this is the same kind of sticks you'd find in the woods, but fit you know more round, 
a little bit thicker would burn longer but I'm just trying to do a little quick burn and show you guys so that's the Vada fold-up stove from Amazon like I said about 12 15 bucks yeah. you guys let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you don't mind it'd really help keep the channel going along so this is old Mike till next time God bless, take care of each other, and keep your head on a swivel. Charlie Post, out.